Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We've moved back to Roseway because uh, in this uh, reptilian corpse infested city, well, village, we uh, have some quests to wrap up because uh, last time we cleared out the antibiotics lab, the secret lab of Roseway, where they were making, you know, diet to toothpaste. Um, and there was a certain fellow. What's left there that's worth dying for? Anton. You let them get away. Worthless. The lot of you. Well, you get what you pay for, don't you? Okay, so Porter just told Anton to basically fuck off because he left the lab on our uh, account. And, oh, you had a really hard time getting away there. But, Anton, hello, I didn't do anything for you. Oh. It's you. Yes, it's me. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Well, I let... I found your associate, Jameson. Yeah. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Yes, you're a dick. Um... You, uh, sometimes see to get called up. No, 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 no. You know, there's more to care about than black marks and paperwork. Not here in this colony, there isn't. Outside Byzantium, life is worthless without meaning. I must get there. Okay. I can't believe you're right. If I did, I... I don't know what I'd do. Well, glad you've been sold the bill of goods. I would refuse to play their game if I were you. Yes, that's convinced. It's easy for you to say you're not trapped like I am. Uh, you're not... I mean, who's keeping you trapped? I... I honestly don't know. There we go, Anton. You should think about it. I... I did get your research, by the way, so I'm... I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. I'll first go talk to Vaughn. We are experiencing a security event, sir and or madam. Please vacate the premises immediately and return to your domicile or designated workplace. Okay, there's a robot here called Weldon. Um, I'm here to help. You are? But corporate never told me they were sending a fixer. Nobody tells me nothing. Okay, are you a robot or a man with just a bit of a robotic voice? Because I'm not sure. What do you do around here? I am not allowed to disclose the details of my contract. If you are unhappy with the quality of my work, please submit a complaint to Anti-Clio's Department of Employee Conduct. No, no, I'm sure you're doing please fine. remember that Anti-Clio Pharmaceuticals is not responsible for any loss of life or grievous physical injury sustained while on company premises. You really do not sound enthusiastic when you say that, do you? Where were you... Or were you at the lab when the marauders attacked? I have strict orders not to talk about anything that happens in a classified area. Um, you said this place was a classified area. <laughs> Roseway Lab is a highly classified facility. I am not allowed to confirm or deny its alleged existence. Uh, we've been there already. <laughs> Never mind, Weldon. See, see, there's chickens here. Oh my god. I can talk to the chicken. The chicken is not very talkative. Okay, fine. Vaughn. So we got Vaughn's research out of there. So that's basically the only guy that we actually did something for. Um, I think he was in the kitchen, right? Over here. Vaughn. Yeah, there he is. Look. The eye patch guy. Any news on the thing we spoke about? You know, that thing? Yes, that thing. I found your experiment. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties. Buyers. Uh, <laughs> keep half. <laughs> I tuned the equipment for you, so there's a bit more than you expected. No kidding? You're the best! This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it. Because I'm not. Uh, a, a f you're definitely going to use it. <laughs> Only for testing purposes. Quality control. You would, right? Sure. Sure, sure. N nope. Gosh, no. Not even once. Uh-huh. Ah, you just don't understand the market. Anyway, here's a cut for you. An advance for my profits. Pleasure doing business with you. 
I feel like that wasn't really clear what that was all about. I feel like I gave this man drugs. Sorry guys if I did that because I, I wasn't really sure what I what I what what I was doing. Um then Jameson. Where's Jameson? I, I saved Jameson. Is he here? Are you Jameson? No, you're just a random dude. Let's go find him. Ah, oh, there he is. Hello, Jameson. Jump. Thanks for getting me out of there. Ah, you're welcome. Glad to see you're safe. Oh, we turned the old lab into storage a long time ago. Anton needed someone to fetch precursors, and when Anton needs someone to fetch something, that someone is invariably me. His voice sounds familiar. Hmm. How'd you get stuck? Those fucking marauders blew a hole in the wall. Language. They tripped the security lockdown. I guess not being able to open a door from the inside is considered a safety feature. Safety for the equipment in the room, maybe. Not so much for the guy trapped inside. It's like a panic room, but without food and water. Uh, well, you were definitely panicking, so um, I, I did keep the raptodons out long enough for someone to find you. I'd have starved long before they got through. Point taken, though. Thanks again for the help. Okay. You're, you're, you're welcome, Jameson. Apparently, I don't get any extra experience for that. I wasn't expecting something. I wasn't expecting something. Now, that almost wraps up basically every quest I did here. Although, I feel like I need to just confront Anton with the fact that I didn't give him his research back. He's going to be mad. Oh, it's you. He's still very Is mad at me. My thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Well, I let the outlaws keep your research. That's all manner of discussion. Uh oh, reputation decreased. There truly is nothing left for me. I suppose I'm. Uh, we're finished here. Do I need to feel bad about you? You'll never get to Byzantium now. I, uh, I suppose you're correct. My life will just continue existence without meaning. Um. You, you're a dick. Even if you'd made it, your life would still be meaningless. You're right. And what's worse, I've always known it. But there's nothing to be done. This is the life I've made for myself. Um... Not just for you. I hope everyone who died for your damn toothpaste haunts you for the rest of it. <laughs> yes, definitely. There we go. Uh, you know what? I should... I promised this, right? I promised I would, would do this. Maybe I should just save before I do. I'm gonna save before I do this. So I made a bit of a save. Um, I have this fancy new sniper rifle. I'm just gonna, you know, hide here in the corner. Hide here in the corner. And then I'm gonna shoot Anton in the face. Because that's how you do it. Boop. Oh wow, he has a lot of health. And that was one of the abilities. I think he's dead. <laughs> that, that was that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> does anybody outside mind? I pressed um, right on the D-pad by accident because I wanted to switch guns. It's triangle to switch guns. But uh, Parvati just went hammer down on, the, on Anton. Anton? Anton, are you okay? Well, the good thing is you don't have to worry about your life anymore. You dick. Okay, let's see if anybody minds. Nobody minds, okay. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Nobody minds. Okay, I'm just gonna continue this. This is cr- uh, what? What? Anybody mad at me? No? They're just shooting at sort of stuff? Okay, great. Um, let's see about my quest log at the moment, because I'm not entirely sure if I have any open quests here. Okay, so I kind of broke- well, not really broke, but I'm working against myself in the distress signal quest, because I need to search for secrets and return them to Gladys, but I've let Cassandra keep Anton's research, I've killed Anton, <laughs> and I've returned the Raptodon Musk to Vaughn. So, yeah, what I am going to do is another quest here, Journey into Smoke, where we need to find those cigarettes. I'm not going to highlight that as my active quest, because that means I need to go to the south 
of the map here. And there's one area there that I haven't really checked yet. Um, I'm actually wondering if there are things that I haven't... Ooh. Orson Shaw. Are you a friendly man as well? Do you wanna... wanna talk to me? Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then... make it quick, please? You're, you're really eager to die. I'm not here to kill you. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Ah, uh, someone who can help if you had any scientific secrets. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if you got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... <sighs> The scientist seems to have forgotten you're there. Um, of course, because I didn't... No, it's really oh. if I get this, this, this oh, Orson? Hello? We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, it's really not or never. I'm going to. Uh, or Orson, <laughs> Mr. Shaw, what are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to. Anyway. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, if you run a wire from your capacitor there, you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I, why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. You're welcome. Um. Need, need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, care to elaborate? I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. That sounds like something that I want to have. Um, where's the storage facility? Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Okay, so I think that's the final area I haven't checked out. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Vulcan's hammer. Uh, n no, thermal paste. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Well, if I have that pistol, I'm just not gonna give it to you, am I? What is that? The pistol? Is that the broken pistol? How do I get the weapon out of his hands? This is. I wanna. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Is this illegal? You're fast. Ooh. What is that? What is that? Officer's spine. Uh, give me, give me a second. I'm just gonna, just gonna close this, and there we go. Oh, what the hell? Heavy machine gun. More stuff. Ooh, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Hello. G goodbye, Orson. I definitely didn't steal anything from your open cabinet that's supposed to be closed. One-handed melee. It does bleed damage. And the origin of the name of this sword is lost in antiquity. Was it named Officer Spine because officers could stand straight knowing they wielded these powerful swords? Or was it that, like officers, these swords vented noxious fumes? No one knows. Okay. Is that cooler than my... No, definitely isn't. I mean, I have this really, really cool whirly gig thingy. And I want to bash somebody's brains in with this, so let's go outside. And on the loading screen, I get an ad for Slime and Shine, the diet toothpaste. Well, it's not gonna be as popular anymore since I killed the guy that invented it. It's a sp wait, why is that a Spaces Choice product? That doesn't make any sense. Should be an Auntie Cleo product, but... So the cigarette case is over there, but I've checked out the map and there's actually some... Yeah, that thing over there. There's another area... Ooh, and that's a crashed chip. That's a good week of work just to get the engine to turn over. You reckon that's how the bad guys got there? Ah. Uh... Yay, I'm gonna hit you. Oop, 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 there we go. Ooh, are there more? Yeah, there's more. Hello. Ha. This is fun. This is fun. Let my companions... Uh, yes, wait, wait. I'm gonna heal up. And that should heal everybody, right? Yeah, ooh, I love the noise that thing makes. 
I just killed two marauders with that. Okay, so there's a corpse next to this escape pod. And it looks like, yeah, they were probably just jettisoned out the front window. Um, and they're outlaws. Okay, not, nothing else here about what this is supposed to be. This seems like another beacon. But nothing else that we can do here. So let's just crest the hill over there, over yonder, and see what the building is all about. I'm just gonna... Ooh. Hi! Oh, I think he lost his face. Oh god. And level up! Whee! Wait, that's the, for the deforestation machine. I've seen that before. So these boxes are definitely not buildings. So probably not the thing I'm looking for. So let's just go with some minor upgrades. So three into tech, three into stealth. So I put 3 into both of these, so they hit 50. But now I can... Ah, I need to put in points into separate stats. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So that puts them up to 50. And then 1 in Persuade puts that up to 50. But then the other ones just stay over there. That is interesting. So I think I'm going to put the last three into ranged. And then we're going to have to specify even more. That's actually a pretty smart system. There we go. I don't think anybody else got to level up. Uh, doesn't seem like it, no. So, and it's 11, so it's not an even number. So I don't get another perk either. Um, I'm also going to check the map. So yeah, I'm heading towards this building. So we started over there. That's where we landed. Uh, and then we went to Roseway over there on the left. That's the first lab. And then at the south, that's the, the entryway into the building, into the mountain for the special lab. Now, the cigarettes are supposed to be over here on the south. But there's another area over here. And I'm guessing that's the storage facility. So it's supposed to be straight ahead. I do love the design of all the buildings, they look kind of funny. They're just like... I mean, they're all modular because they were probably placed here from a, a spaceship every time. So they kind of have the same aesthetic every time as well. Um, I hear... that's the workbench. And this is a storage facility, okay. So we're on the right track. Let's take him down. Oh god. Oh god, this is not good. I tried to heal Felix there. Oh god, this is bad. Oh god. Need to heal up. Was that everybody? Oh wow. That was a load all of a sudden. Um, but the plasma rifle still is my best option, clearly. Because that just melted that robot. The robot that apparently turned into ash. Ooh. The vermin. That looks cool. That's a pistol. Ooh. And a reconditioned exo helmet. But that up sneak. That's always good as well. And then the scrap mechanical gives them uh, some stuff as well. So the storage facility. They promised us very fancy weapons. So that's exactly what I'm going to do after a bit of huffing. Because they seem to be at low health as well. So into the storage facility. Okay, I see about 10 red ticks on the, the, the marker right now. So there's plenty of marauders inside of this place here. Not exactly. I should really get a... A stealth weapon. Because I don't think I have any of high. Don't you see me here? I mean, this is class, isn't it? This is class. I would really like grenades, by the way. Just open it up. And toss one of those grenades in. There goes one. Hi. Oh, that was a complete miss. I did 
think I hit Felix there. Let's just heal up. Just keeping it charged. Boom! The the, it's clearly not. Ooh. Flaw tutorial. Found a flaw in you. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Okay. Drug addiction. Taking as many drugs as you have has turned to an addiction, making you suffer withdrawal if you go too long without another hit. I'm gonna accept that. So I'm addicted to drugs. Yes. That's a perk point we get. And we can choose from a whole lot of new perks. So let, give me a second. So I'm all about scrounging. So I'm just gonna increase the carrying capacity bonus from uh, my companions. So there we go. Apply, march for purchase. That is good. That is good. So now I have 200 extra carrying capacity. I feel like that's enough to just uh, go to town on everybody here. So this place seems pretty quiet otherwise. There's a few scrapped mechanicals and reptile corpses as well. Again, so that's starting to become a, a team. So yeah, there we go. In between its giant shits. They seem a bit too big for uh, a Raptodon to be shitting out something that big. But what's this? So that's the other side, okay. And that gives us a staircase. And the staircase is probably not going to be a staircase up to heaven. But hey, let's just murder the rest of these people. They don't seem to... Well, put up much of a fight. Especially if I keep my eye in and just shoot them all really quickly. Let's charge up. There we go. That's the first robot down. Doesn't seem like the ones in the next room. There's some really weird detection going on in this game. Like, as long as rooms are closed off, they don't seem to care what happens in the other room. Which is, I mean, that's fine by me, but... Um, Felix? There we go. Felix almost dead, but Felix seems to be drawing a lot of fire to himself every time that happens. But, uh, this should be fine. Let's just grab all the loot. And I really want that fancy weapon. Where's the fancy weapon? I need it. Give it to me. Another Inferno site. Might as well take it and scrap it for parts. Oof, this guy all died. This space and this is all they get to sleep in? Uh, yeah, okay. That's a good point, Parvati, but not something I would focus on when there's literally a corpse in front of you. There's sleeping arrangements. Um, let's check this. So... Nothing in particular, but Oli Oli. Nothing here either. I can't read whatever that is. Seems like the monitors were smashed in as well. Hmm. Still no sign of that fancy weapon. Still no sign of that fancy weapon. There seem to be still enemies around here. So definitely not done yet. There was another area down below. Is that his leg? Did I just... Ooh, I separated torso from legs. And there clearly is another level down here. Um, let's just grab all of that. You never know when I'm going to use that. Um, and a terminal. So this actually connects back to some of the things we've read about in the first lab. Uh, this is Maria Volkova and she was the property manager of all facilities here. She's talking about the arms she needed to clean out of the meat grinding and the fact that she doesn't have a lot of space to sleep and she's forced to sleep in this facility. She apparently also fancied a man called Ruben. I don't know if we've talked to him already, but uh, it seems like she was pretty much stuck here and everybody, nobody's responding to her, but she's probably the woman that was dead upstairs. Things are hairy out here, lock the doors, keep your head down, stay safe, save Mashenka, and I'll come for you. Oh, so Porter is Ruben. Yeah, so she liked Porter. Uh, I'm glad we didn't kill Porter, because 
Apparently the love of his life is dead though. So, ooh, that's a bit sad. That's really sad. So this probably moves back outside. We don't want to do that just yet. Because there is another room in here. Okay. Ugh, smells like something died in here. Well, it probably did. There's a note here right next to the armory. If you need to get into the armory and don't have the code, ask me. If I'm not around, check the front desk at the antibiotics lab. But I think... Yeah, we did that with the storage facility passcode, so we found that. So we opened that up. First gonna check the rest of the room for loot. Okay, so nothing of interest, but let's open up this door, charge up the rifle. There's already green glowy things over here, but no enemies. No enemies just yet. Let's just uh, calm down. What's this? Acid steeper. Find an acid steeper. Okay, the cleaning machine. Install the acid steeper. I'm gonna have to check that because I don't remember what that was all about. Backpack mold. Might as well install that later on. Another terminal and then a whole bunch of stuff over here. This is definitely the armory because there's ammo for days and weapons. Plasma carbine. Is that? That looks different. That looks different. What is this? A plasma carbine. The DNL plasma carbine has everything. A good range, decent damage, even splash damage on nearby targets. Plus, its overcharge feature will get you out of a tight spot every time. I'm gonna have to try that out. I'll see next time we, we come across some enemies. I'm gonna use this bad boy. This looks very nice. It does have a bit of sway when we're walking, but... Armory logs. Okay. Floggy source, floggy, floggy synchrotron pistol. The force floggy synchrotron pistol. Functional untrained personnel must attend site safety before using. As a seminar officer is not currently available, recommend permanent secure storage. And ammunition entry is not found. So nothing useful there, but it does say that it is in storage. And we are in sto- Or is this- this looks like a very big safe, although it might not be. Let's just look around a little bit more. So we found something already, but there's more doors. Where there's more doors, there are more rooms and more items. Aha! This goes down again. Why is there an entire level hidden in the armory? So this is definitely where that those lost enemies are going to be. I have no idea what this thing is supposed to... Nobody in this damn town knows how to clean up after themselves. So this is Orson's lab, okay. I mean, it is high fire rate, but... But I feel like I like my plasma rifle more. This is... Yeah, the plasma rifle is, like, just better. It looks way cooler. I gotta give it that. But maybe it's because these guys were higher level. I'm gonna try it a bit longer. Ooh, Ooh what's this? Is that it? It's on, it's on the image here. Ooh, force pistol schematics. Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly illegible writing, except for the name Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. The schematic depicts uh, yeah, that pistol from a brand named Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It is unclear from these plans what a fl fl floggy synchrotronic does. Okay. And I guess we'll have to find out at a precision spectrum magnification monolens. There's a lot of fancy things here. And uh, I think that that, I'm not sure what I need to do with this now. Do I bring that to Orson or do I do, because I can return it to Gladys as well. But can I, can I make one for myself? Because that's the, the thing I'm most interested in. Um, there was one terminal here, so let's check that out. Maybe, maybe that explains what it does. So, theft of terminal volumes is punishable by a fine. Theft has been locked with the nearest site security office. Employee, please remain at the terminal and then contacted by your site safety officer in order to receive your ticket. Okay. 
I didn't do anything, but maybe they did. So I think with that, I'm going to take a little break. So next time we're going to go back to Orson and see what he can tell us about the gun. Because maybe we can even make that ourselves before we bring the schematics to Gladys. Or maybe I can even make that just by all by myself. That would be nice. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Outer Worlds. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.